Hey guys, I'm Cody at Urbine Past Life Pro, and for this cute shader tutorial, I thought I'd introduce some new watercolors for you, and as a bonus, i show you how you can make your own, kind of similar to what I did in my Seuss tutorial. And yes, in the latest public cute shader, this one being the Cuta V6.0.73 Beta Ultra. Okay, let's begin. Alright, the Cuta shader unzipped, ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate gbuffers underscore water dot fsh. Using notepad plus plus, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 57. So, for changing the color of the water, these three numbers are what we'll use. Now, to understand this for yourself, know that these three values are dominated by the RGB color palette, which means the first number is your red, second your green, and third your blue. The last number on the other hand is used for adjusting the transparency of the water. Still a very useful tool though. Knowing this, let's move on to my new preset watercolors. And to save time, I'll let my comparison play out, and when it's done, I'll pick my favorite as my choice. Without a doubt, the third one is definitely the one for me, so I'd replace these current numbers with 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, and 0 0.4 for the transparency. As with all my Keto Shader tutorials, versions in time will change, so if you have any questions, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comments section down below. If this Keto Shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.